Yeah. What's good, Gray Gang? We're here today. We're about to do some catfishing and turtle fishing, about the same thing. But the plan is right now, we're actually going to come down to Adam's Pond. We're going to throw out a few rods right now with Fatback, and then we're actually going to go catfishing at the river and try to get some fish to stock this pond. There's approximately 1,287 turtles in this pond. Okay, you probably not in action. Cutting like butter. Ready? Here we go. Think that's a fish? Probably not a fish, hopefully a turtle. Oh. And just so you know, guys, this video is actually sponsored by War Dragons, and I'll tell you a little bit about that later in the video, because it's a little bit different than just something crazy. But we're going to do these rods. We're actually going to flip the bell, let them free spool. That way, if we do catch a turtle, we're actually going to be leaving for maybe a couple hours. So, you know, we'll drag the pole in. I feel like we're going to get one. I do too. We know they're in here. Well, there's more, yeah. Legend says there's one in here bigger than two bathtubs. A monstrosity. They were those ugly stick for $5. <laughs> there you are, too. A big one? Yeah. That's like a $40 rod. No, no, no. Five bucks. Someone wants a lawn jar. Narnia. What? We're going in the Narnia. It's about what it's going to be like. I'm glad you're waking them up for us. The first person wakes up the snake, the second person makes it mad, and the third person gets bit. Awesome. I'd be more scared of ticks. Oh wow, we're here. I don't know why I use choose these shoes. I don't know why I didn't bring like actual boots. I need a belt too. My pants are falling down. Alright, what's the plan? So we got some shells here. Yeah. It's wider over here, slower. Mm. Now what the catfish and while I do, they wait for the shad to come down here and they feed. And the bass are on top of the shells. What's our odds of catching a walleye? They should be biting pretty good right now. Were you gonna be using night crawlers? Yes, sir. <laughs> Pretty simple rig, just a little weight. Oh gosh, and a little hook. It's a little muddy down here, isn't it? You're using night crawlers. If we see any random water bottles or pop cans floating down the river, just let me know. We got arms. <laughs> we'll hit up some target practice. That right there should be pretty good. We'll just sling it out there in the middle, I guess. I'm gonna try to get me a stick so I can prop up my rod that way. It doesn't have to be laying on the ground. This one's really weird, but I think we're gonna make it work. I'm thinking, well, if we like cut it right here and then have it angled out this way and then just put the pole right here. I don't know, I man, it's worth a shot. We'll just whittle this sucker down the best we can. See what we can do. <clears throat> Ow, that kind of hurts. There we go. <clears throat> Ow. There we go. That's pretty cool. Hooker in the bank. Set it just like that. That's perfect, guys. That's good. They're actually over there now. They're heading over down the river a little bit. They're going to do some bass fishing. I'm just going to stay out here watching you know, the catfish rod. See what we can do. Maybe if we have a rogue submarine coming through here, I can pull out the M1 carpet and do some damage. Now that we're settled down at the river and everything, I'm going to send you guys over. I'm actually going to tell you about our new sponsor, War Dragons. It's pretty awesome, guys. Well, thanks to them, we are actually going to be using a few of these. Nowadays on YouTube, there's not really many times you can use a gun freely, but, but you know what? With the help of War Dragons? Yeah, we kind of can now. It's great. Without further ado, let me tell you about the game. So War Dragons is a mobile game, and it's like a real-time game. So, like, you can defend and attack in real time against actual real people. Since the title of the game is War Dragons, you can imagine there's dragons. But the thing is, there's over 150 different dragons, and each one of them has their own special skill set with different abilities, you know. War Dragons is partnering up with Stack Up, an organization dedicated to bringing both veterans and civilian supporters together through a shared love of gaming. So, if you like to download War Dragons, all you gotta do is go on down, it should be one of the first links in the description. Go ahead, click the link. It should help you install the app. And if you're wanting to donate within the app, you should be able to find that, you know, the information in the app pretty easy. So here's what's going to happen. I'm just going to go ahead and put the screen up right here. All right, so here's my base. We're attacking somebody right now. Who do we want to go after? Let's go after this Dungeons and me doll. Oh, yeah, let's try this dude. Attack a sucker. What dragon we picking? Right now, I've only got three, but each three of those are actually have a different attack. We're going to go with the purple dragon on the complete left. It's actually semi-automatic kind of doesn't work like that but once you see you understand the concept okay i see tap to fire it's like single automatic see boom 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 all right all right first things we got to pop open these billings we got to stink and shred these suckers pretty simple base seems like but goodness son a little bit longer bang 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 just like that guys we won this was a really simple base I'm not exactly the highest level, guys. Some would say I'm not the sharpest wizard in the shed. We'll go ahead and return home. I think my incubator, for real, dude, look. Yeah, I was actually hatching an egg overnight. It just now got done. And here it is. Pretty stout looking egg, if you ask me. I got no dragon. He's blue. The blue horned dragon. His name is Zen. Welcome to the Grey Gang, Zen. Ah, oh, but my username in the game is Kennel Grey One. So if you get in there and you see my base, 
feel free to attack me and take all my resources, then I'll attack you back. And I will make you pay for it. But don't forget, guys, if you want to download the game, it is the first link in the description. Just download it. And don't forget, here recently, whenever you donate, it's, they're going to be matching it to the Stack Up Foundation. And that's helping more than just you. But now, guys, I'm going to set you up. I'm going to empty the mag in the M9. Over here, I got some new steel targets I've not showed y'all yet. But after I empty this mag, we're going to go right back to fishing. Then I'll come back at the end of fishing, and then we'll shoot a little bit more. Oh, I've not really showed you the M9 either. Here it is. M922. If you want to see the specs on it, if you want to see a really good video, you're going to have to go over to my second channel, Kindle Grade 2. We've done a full video over this sucker. But anyways, got some steel targets. Here we go. Alright boys, that's all we got. Let's go back to fishing, then I'll bring you back after we're done fishing. Okay, guys, I think we may have a catfish, like, honestly, for real. This line over here, this one's not my pole, but watch the line. Watch it right here. It's been tightening up and going limp. I don't know if that's a catfish or maybe it's just scooting over rocks or something. Come over here and play with Jeremy. You got Jeremy down in here. I believe this is, uh, is this Delvin? No, that's Derek, my bad. This is Delvin. Delvin's right here. He's pretty chill. Yeah. If I'm going to be completely honest, though, not trying to pick favorites, but if I did have to pick one, my favorite would be Anthony. He's pretty chill. I mean, he doesn't do a lot, but that's kind of why I like him. I mean, you know what they say, he may not do much, but he definitely doesn't get in trouble. Never been more true than with Anthony. But uh, yeah, I mean, right now it's just me and my boys over here chilling and uh, time to put them back up. We don't even want to start that rodeo. But anyways, guys, I'm just going to chill out here, wash the lines a little bit. If anything happens, I'll just let you know. Hey, full send. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? I got it on camera. <laughs> Redemption. I'm conquering this, bro. I'm oh, not big. <laughs> yeah. If you put your foot right there, it helps. Let's go. We're good, dude. I'm gonna put down there for redemption. Get it. Hey, Candy. Okay, buddy. Got him? Yeah, you do. Bring him in. Yeah, I believe so, right? Or is it a rock? No, it's a fish. Bring it in. Yeah. Yeah, Adam's got him one. Because you're reeling more than the drag's going out. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, Adam, that is definitely the closest thing we've had all day. At least I got to the bank. We're going to keep him? Huh? I got three Yeah? It felt like a three pounder. It's fighting off the good, I know. You're throw him back or put him in pull pond? I think we'll keep him. <laughs> I had him good. He went coming loose. This man <laughs> fell in the river. He deserves something. I ain't coming out of here empty handed. <laughs> we gotta get something. Worst case scenario is just gonna get back in the river and get one of my hands. He took a great fall <laughs> trying to cross a. Oh, I don't know what he was trying to cross. A tree? <laughs> his back is soaked. He's got grass in his hair. <laughs> we didn't do have any luck down here at the river, but I mean Adam caught a stick, but we decided we'd throw it back. But now we get to go check the turtle traps, see how they done. I think they actually probably did pretty good. Alright, well we thinking good news, bad news. You got one? The rod's bending pretty good, so you got something on there. We do. Where are we putting him at? We'll get him. We'll hand hold him. Yeah, we'll man handle him up his beaver trail. <laughs> That's all we'll have to do, son. Please, oh on. gosh. Please. He's something big. No. He's coming up. He's pretty close. What do you think it is? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we got one. Baby, he's, got he's not huge, but he's good enough. We got something. Yeah, baby. There we go. There we go. Big snapper, hey, baby. We got something. I'm telling you. Probably the smallest one in here. <laughs> he probably is, but still. There we go. 
Little, little turtle. Little turtle action. Let's keep him. In the pool pond? That's about the same size. As in the pool pond? Oh, where else we gonna put him? We ain't putting him back in. We can eat him. Or he can eat Swallow. him. He did, dude. That's a big piece of fat back, too. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Let's see if it back to the camera. Get your fingers off. He's scary, dude. Y'all wanted some turtle videos, and here they are. Get out, buddy. You can get your stomach. No. You need a KG pocket knife? I do need a KG pocket knife. Hit him up with the KG pocket knife, Adam. I think I've lost it. Oh, gosh. There we go. Turtle man digged it in after he fell in. Put him in, boy. Today wasn't all nothing, now. No, we done good today. Yo, yo, what's up? It's your homeboy, uh, Chad, I think. Now we're gonna shoot a few more military guns. I'm just kidding. One more military gun. And it's kind of from World War One. I. I mean, World War Two, something like that. Korean War. It's a simple M1 carbine chambered in 22 caliber. Now, this is literally one of the coolest guns I've ever owned in my life. A little sticky, but do that and you're good. <laughs> Let me get my ear protection on. We'll stink and rampage on that little steel target. Broke the target. I'm sorry. Ah, I knew it was coming one day. Let's go check it out, guys. This is pretty cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. I also got a few new targets. I mean, I kind of already told you that. Three, two. I have this one right here. Bing, bing, bing. It's a smaller target. I have this one. I actually got it out of fan mail. You have to check it out on the second channel. That video will be coming out pretty soon. Then I got this target. I ordered it off Amazon. You shoot it and it falls back. It's only rated for 22 caliber. Which is why it's come, kind of coming out the back whenever I shot it with my 17. If we look closely, I don't know how hot this is. Here's actually a piece of a 22 bullet that hit and then bounced off. That's really cool. Then we got that target, same as always. We got my little ironing board. Yeah, it's kind of sad. But then we got this right here. This is one of my steel targets. This is the bigger one. Um, uh, yeah, we, we just had it up here holding it by wire. Because we didn't really have chain at the moment. And I just wanted to shoot. And I think I may have... Uh, I think just now I was hitting quite a lot up in this corner. And some of the shavings were shattering over. And it ended up busting it. Which that's okay. I guess for now we'll load the Beretta back up. The little M9. We'll just shoot some of those targets again. I really like shooting guys. I've liked it a whole lot more lately. But if you do want to see more about this Beretta M9. Or kind of any of my guns. The second channel is probably the best way to go. Because I'm going to start posting all my, all my just shooting fun videos. That I don't really care to get demonetized over there on my second channel. Okay. Okay, 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 here we go. Ready? Nice. We'll put a few rounds on that smaller target. No guarantees at all I will hit it. It's a really small target, and I'm not the best with this pistol. All right, boys, I'll tell you what. We're going to end it right there. See you back Thursday, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi, Grey Gangsters. Go to kendallgray1.com shop, pick up some fire merch. Congrats on one mil, Kendall.